Hey guys, Master 1378 here, and today I have a very special video for you guys. This is another Brick Arms haul. Now, these Brick Arms hauls tend to be some of my most popular videos, and this one I hope is no different. It's definitely one of the bigger hauls that I've gotten, and it's also, in my opinion, one of the most exciting, because, or at least for me, and I'm the one who's opening this, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, this is actually a package that I got from GI Brick, which is the uh, the American Brick Arms reseller, and that's mainly because even though I live in Canada, they did have a New Year's free shipping promotion since they were not able to ship anything until the 4th and today's the 10th, so that's still pretty fast shipping time, and as you can see, this is one of the smaller packages that I've received LEGO th uh, custom LEGO items in, however it's definitely one of the thicker ones. So without further ado, let's crack this thing open. So I'm going to really quickly just uh, show you the, the little baggie that these things come in and some of the more interesting things, then I'm going to go over everything uh, one by one, sort of. So if we open that up, some very nice packaging. I have to say. And, um, yeah, let's see. This seems to be everything, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. And so there's nothing left in the package, as you can see. So then if we open this up, it's a very neat packing job. I, I really do have to applaud GI Brick on this. And I do also want to mention that GI Brick is probably one of the best resellers that Brick Arms has, in my opinion, not only because they are family, they are related to Will Chapman, the, the owner and main uh, designer for Brick Arms, but also they just have a really amazing website, really, really nice interface, really great shopping experience, and they have a ton of prototypes too, which is the thing that you just saw me get out. Now there's that, and let's just dump all this out. Again, I still want to say very nice packing job. So let's see. First off, I'll get these two out of the way. These are two, as far as I can tell, exclusive to GI Brick. Uh, these are crates, one of Will Chapman's newer Brick Arms items. And as you can see, I'm not entirely sure if you can really make that out there. It's kind of hard to see, but this actually says UNLC, uh, which is United Lego Command, I guess, which is sort of a takeoff on the Halo Universe's UNSC. And that's pretty cool since uh, I am a pretty big Halo fan. And these crates are really nice. They're going to be really good for holding a ton of Brick Arms Halo guns, which are in this packet right here. I also got uh, three freebies. This is one of them, a pink uh, World War II weapon. I'm not entirely sure. I believe this is a Sten gun. And that's just because I like the design of this thing. And uh, you're allowed to pick your freebies, so that's pretty cool. I also got this. This is a prototype. This is a, or the, the spike rings right here are a prototype. And then the baseball bat isn't. But I mainly got these to create a Brick Arms Halo 3 spike grenade. Or not Brick Arms, but a Halo 3 spike grenade with Brick Arms products. And this right here is something that I got. It was extremely cheap. It was like $2 instead of, I think, 10 or something or it was a, a bit more. These are actually dog tags. And I myself like dog tags. They're pretty neat. And... Uh, having GI Brick ones is pretty cool. So, yeah. And then right here, this is all of the weapons. This is the where the bulk of the uh, sixty dollar or uh, sixty five dollar cost for this entire haul came from. Yes, this did cost me sixty five dollars, which is might be a lot to some people, but I think that this is worth it. So, let's take a closer look at all these weapons. All right. So here we have the entire haul minus the dog tags all laid out. So if we start off in the left corner here, we have uh, rail guns, DMRs in two colors, um, Halo 4 battle rifles, my attempt at a spike grenade, which is okay. I mean, it's I really do think that this is a really nice prototype piece, it's just that I don't know if I'll be using this in mocks. And then up here we have sticky detonators in gunmetal, though I'm not entirely sure that's the right color, some black. Uh, silenced SMGs. I really love that gun after playing ODST. And then some SMGs, including gunmetal SMGs, which are supposed to represent the Halo 4 ones. And yes, it was actually in the concept art for the game. If you look at the up at the uh, concept art book, uh, even though they didn't make it into the final game, some uh, plasma pistols because those are the only ones that they had. They didn't have any uh, needle needlers in purple or any energy swords. Then we have some Halo Reach. Uh, 
shotguns plus my a stand-in for a Halo 4 shotgun using the Halo Reach mold, another Halo 3 battle rifle, a what's supposed to be a Halo 2 pistol, and over here we have those two awesome, awesome crates with the really nice custom printing. Those are actually four dollars each, which kind of significantly significantly bulked up the order in terms of price, but I think they're honestly worth it. Then these are pretty cool. These are actually rubber uh, U clips. And they're hopefully going to be useful for a few things. I got them extremely cheap, like 10 cents each. And thinking back on it, I really should have gotten some monopods in order to make some more um, gun racks. So I think some some of their monopods would have been really nice. Here, this is actually a slight mess up because these are gunmetal brick arms. Uh, they call them space pistols or space magnum pistols, excuse me. And as you can see on the order form here. We've got Space Magnum pistol in black, and that's one, and then Space, space Magnum assault rifle or Space assault rifle in gunmetal, which is I got four of them in uh, gunmetal. So that's just a slight mess up. I don't know if they didn't have any left or something, but I'm really not holding it against GI Brick because this order is really amazing. They really do a really have a really good they do a really good job with this. So I'm it's really not a huge deal honestly, and I'll probably pick some up next uh, order that I make. And then here we've got some, uh, or a baseball bat, that's from the, uh, the spike, the little spike uh, ring prototype piece. And here we have some Dao swords for my avatar mocks, some Star Wars blasters for Star Wars mocks, and then my freebies. I really, really love that light trans blue color, so hopefully I'll be able to, I don't know if I'll be able to use it for any real actual creations, but I think that it's still a really, really neat thing to have. So. That's basically it for my showing you guys everything that I got. So uh, let's conclude this video. All right guys, that basically concludes this really awesome haul video. I was really excited for this one mainly because I am a huge Halo fan and all of the uh, uh, custom guns that were released in the Brick Arms Experimental Series which came out quite a while ago actually and I've only finally gotten around to getting some. Uh, are all really awesome and they're very useful for Halo mocks and for anybody who's wondering why I got lots of these weapons in both gunmetal and black that's mainly so I can use them for Halo 4 and Halo Reach mocks so things like say the DMR is closer to the uh, in gunmetal is closer to the actual DMR in Halo 4 same thing for like say the uh, the Magnum indirectly and of course the Halo 4 battle rifle it's in the appropriate color and just that kind of thing was mainly just so I can make more accurate mocks because that I'm I'm a bit of a sticker for that kind of thing. But anyway, that's that's really it. I really have to thank GI Brick for this. They're an amazing reseller, and despite the very slight slip up, I'm I just think that you if if you live in the U.S. and even if you don't, um, if say you live in Canada, ideally I don't know if overseas shipping would be very um, would be very cost effective, but. I highly, highly recommend you order from them if you haven't already. They're an amazing reseller of Brick Arms products, which for the most part are, I, I believe, are mainly geared towards the slightly older LEGO crowd, like teenage and adult fans. But either way, I really recommend that you check them out and place an order with them because they're just an amazing reseller and Brick Arms makes such incredibly quality products that I, I really cannot badmouth them. I mean, they, they are, in my opinion, the best third-party Lego compatible accessories on the market right now especially when it comes to replicating all of your favorite video game and even some uh, movie or hi especially historical weapons so that's basically it guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and make sure if you want to receive updates about all I do here on Lego Master 1378 be sure to both follow me on Google Plus and Twitter as well as subscribe to me on YouTube for all my latest videos and that's it, guys. I hope to be seeing you again soon. Bye.